I'm joined by the manager of the Brooklyn Cyclones, Tom Gamboa. Tom, it's like our annual conversation that we have the last three seasons, and we're getting near the uh, stretch run of the season now. And uh, how do you think the team looks now, coming together a little bit? And what's your opinion on that? Yeah, we've uh, we we got a real good group of guys, Gary. This is this is the most mature group of the three years that I've been with the Mets because this year they drafted. Or we drafted primarily college players, so we've got a lot of guys from Division One college programs. They're mature, they know what the game is about, and they're self-motivated. And it's been a fun group to manage. And I'm glad that with 18 games to go, that we're right in the hunt. Because rather than playing out the schedule, it's always fun to play meaningful games down the stretch. It, it keeps everybody's focus better, and uh, I think it's a credit to the guys on our team that. We've lost arguably three of our best players, and uh, uh, my gosh, Pete Al- Alonzo would have been a candidate for the MVP of this league. And right. we lost him to a broken finger. We lost uh, Jacob Zanin, who was leading the league in stolen bases and playing a great center field, uh, to a torn labrum in, in his shoulder. And we lost Sargakis just a couple of days ago with a, a cracked uh, scapula. So losing those three guys, and yet our team has really come together, and we won seven of the last nine, and I think that's the mark of a good team, focusing on how to win with who you do have and not having an excuse for losing as to who you don't have. So I'm I'm proud of these guys. Now, as you say, has this been an easier year or a tougher year having all these top draft picks here? That's a lot of responsibility on you. Well, I, I, I've been doing this for over 40 years, so no, I, you know, I don't look at it that way. I just look at it as I, I love coaching and working with young people, and uh, like I say, it's a good group of guys. I got a great staff with uh, Edgar Alfonso, my bench coach, and Fonzie works with the hitters and the infielders. I got a young coach, Sean Ratliff, an ex-Met that handles the hitting, and Billy Brick with the pitching, so... It keeps me young being around young people and trying to mentor them a little bit with, uh, you know, just passing on my experience in the game. Now, speaking of young, the rumor has been that this may be your final year that you want to go retire and uh, spend time with the grandkids, those cute kids that we see on Facebook all yeah. the time <laughs> yeah. uh, visiting you. Uh, so what is the word? Will you uh, come back or is this the final year? No, I think I think when you do something over 40 years, I think that it's enough, and it, it's certainly a young person's game. And I still have as much passion as I did when I was early on. But uh, with with my five kids, with my nine grandkids, and my love for golf, and my home in California, I, I think uh, you get to a point where when you're young, you love being on the road and seeing new cities. Right. And then when you get older, that becomes the only bad part of the yeah. thing. So. You know, I still I still love the games and the competition of coaching the games and managing as much as ever, but sitting around hotels during the day waiting for the games has become a, a real drudgeon for me. So uh, I'd love to stay on with somebody in like a uh, an advisory capacity and a part-time basis, but as far as managing a, a full season or a short season team anymore, I think that this is, uh, I think it's time for me to, to uh look back with a lot of fond memories and move on. <laughs> well, I hope Sandy Alderson listens to this and, and keeps you on. And, and let me just say this, that it, it has been a very pleasure of mine to meet you and to talk some baseball with you, and I hope we can in the future again. And uh, I know that the people in Brooklyn uh, have a lot of respect for you, and you've been very kind to everybody and always available, and I, I really appreciate that. Good. Well, thanks, Gary. I, it, uh, likewise, I've enjoyed... Our, our time together and our, and our times on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you.